On our second day in Kenya, we headed out first thing for a morning run. We were joined by some children as they were on their way to school and just to see their faces was so magical. They were so happy, so excited and just, yeah, ran along with us. So we just kind of had an explore. We've just been kind of following our noses and just exploring really. We haven't sort of mapped out many routes, but we just kind of have a look at the map, exploring, having a look round and just having some fun and enjoying it, especially as we're keeping things easy this week. But what was really cool is just at the end of the run, we saw this elite group go past and they were just absolutely flying and looked so smooth. And just look at them go, absolutely love it. After a morning of work, we headed out to this store called the Champions Running Store Iten. As we've heard good things and they stock lots of different running products as you can see. So there is a range of stuff, vests, shorts, long sleeve tops and also some Kenyan stuff. So we did purchase a couple of things whilst we're here and we'll probably show you in another video what we got. We met some lovely girls in there as well from the UK. So got chatting to them and just finding out a bit more about running, where to go, who to get in contact with and all that stuff. As we have heard that Elliot Kipchoge is currently in Eldoret. So in the afternoon, I jumped on the bike for 30 minutes as there's a gym here at the High Altitude Training Centre and James went out for a run. But we then attempted the famous Kenyan core class and wow, was this tough. Now, we're 24 hours on and we're really starting to feel the doms. When we first woke up, we were like, I think we've got away with it. But yeah, now we're really starting to feel it. But it was a great session, 40 minutes in length and there was a big group everyone was doing it and also everyone was also struggling but it's mondays wednesdays and fridays at the high altitude training center from five till six and we have it included in our accommodation here now this was at the end and poor james had got cramp in his toes but this was my favorite part child's pose where we were just kind of relaxing and stretching out but yeah definitely recommend it um, this was Wednesday that we did it and we think we're probably going to try and do it at least once a week whilst we're staying here as we are here for four weeks. We're back from the core class. James, how did you find it? Ouch. <laughs> to be fair, it got easier or more to our favour in the second half. Yeah. It was like 40 minutes. And well, when he said eight minutes plank, I was like, I must have misheard that, but it was eight minutes of plank. I didn't even hear that. But yeah, we did front plank, side plank, other side plank, um, like supine plank, and he did that twice over. And then there was, oh, what was after? That was just, that was the hardest bit. But like... That was the leg raises. Leg raises, leg circles, and there was hip stuff. But quite interestingly, like everyone was struggling. There was a couple of people in there that were like, Super, super amazing. Yeah, we even like Olympic medalists were struggling. <laughs> yeah. And then the two guys I was speaking to at the start, who were like two ten and two seven marathoners, were like, all over the shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it just goes to show you that, like, you humbling, know, humbling nonetheless. Yeah. No. It was. It was. Uh, it's just basically. It was just a really tough session. The trainer, as well, he counted we can't count. counted to twenty. But I was looking at my watch and about forty seconds. It was like three seconds per one that he was counting. But anyway, really good. They do it Monday, Wednesday and Friday, five till six, and it's completely free. So we think we're definitely going to go back and do it, but we'll see how we feel tomorrow. But time to shower and get ready for dinner. I'm hungry. 